man, the guitar on this is just so lit. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Mixcycle here on another episode of Axiom Verge 2 coming at you. Covering a lot of uh, space, I feel, in short order. Is this where I came out from before? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that worked. I think. Nope. Okay, I have to go up the way I was before. And there's a jerk here. There. Go pick on somebody else's face. You jerk monkey. <laughs> Guess you stuck down there now. No, so am I. This game just toof. Even the first Axiom Verge, I thought the music was just perfect. Creepy, weird, horror notes. Interesting all the same. I hear breach. Yep. So this all feels to me like this is before Axiom Verge 1. That's what this is kind of feeling to me so far. Uh, whether I'm right or wrong, I'll, I won't know until we get farther, right? But this really honestly feels to me like this is a prequel, less of a sequel. Oh, come on, I can't get back up? Oh, yes, I can. I want to do a, l a little double backing. Now that I have that save point, I can now free to roam the whatever. Okay. But can I just do this? Stupid cool. That's stupid, stupid cool. I like it. Put me down for I like it. Just no further questions. Commemorative speech. Today marks the first anniversary of the invasion of the of Enger, a battle that will surely be recounted for ages to come. On that day, our bravest warriors, led by the all-powerful wielders, made the first punch push into the watery caverns of the Udug. Shocked to find a world as dark as it is vast, many fell that day. But we nevertheless held strong, driving our foes back with the holy powers granted by the gods. Raise a chalice to our heroes, alive and fallen alike. May the gods be with them. Melem Anna, Lord of Kanger, and King of all the land. I feel like there's more up, but I can't more up. Actually, before I go more down... Okay. Maybe I'll find something later that'll make that easier. This doesn't smell like a trap at all. Another breach attractor ish thing. Ki Ki Inimak. Allows you to see the breach and enter hidden breach portals. Awesome! Damn it, that's not what I wanted. That was creepy. Whoa, where the hell are we now? I 
I don't get it. Why is it beeping now? Oh, it's just with the song. Okay. I was like, that's the same notification for when I'm low on health. That's not helpful. Yeah. Oh, I remember you, jerks. You gonna show me a secret area somewhere? Take that as a no. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. Or there? Okay. This is one of the problems with an ability that's completely free. Is, am I expected to spam it constantly? Where even are we? Uh, next map, no. Where would this take me? Why does this look a lot bleaker than I remember? Okay. Does that just signify an exit? Well, if I want to redo it, I could do this. So those weren't really breach attractors. They were just different ways to get into the breach. I guess? Yeah. Okay, these are just different ways to get into the breach. Feels a lot less like... Yeah, okay. I think I follow. Man, having the you're low on health notification as part of a song is really screwing with me. Oh my god, I remember you. Huh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> okay. That wasn't terrifying or anything. Can I not? Okay. I guess I can't. Huh. Is it because it's not an edge, technically? Huh, okay. Well, this was the only way I could have gone. So, here we go. Let's go. I guess I'm still really trying to wrap my head around the fact that I'm not gonna be my human counterpart for quite a while. How where the hell am I? Wait a minute. See how there's nothing up there? And now there is? There's small differences in the terrain, it feels. I made that observation before, but I wasn't sure what to make of it. Yeah, the whole top part isn't part of this. But the rest of it is. Yeah, there's a gap up there and he can't pass through it? That's interesting. Well, I can't pass through it either, so whatever. Oh, 
Finally, the first thing I can freaking hack down here. A lot of these creatures are showing a lot of similarities. Yup, those little jackass bats. Thank goodness I saved. Nailed it! to come back for that. So close. Dang. All right, I'm just gonna skip it. Rude. Thank you. Oof. That was getting dicey. It's so weird. What the hell? Note to self, deal with the bats first. Come on, there you go. Okay, that's where I came from. Just because I don't want to deal with them. Ah, oh, crap.
Man, I'm starting to lose track where the hell we are even. What new toy do you have for me now? Barash! Your drone can hover by pressing, holding, jump in, in the air. Oh my god. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, jump in, in the air. Okay, I read that correctly. Oh my god. Look at that, so cute! Flutter, 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 flutter. Oh yeah, that makes that whole puzzle just a piece of cake. Oh, okay. I see where this is going now. I'm gonna kill this guy first. That's what I thought. There we go. Nailed it! Oh, this room looks incredibly familiar from the first game. Yeah, I'll take more skill points. One point. Awesome. How many do I have sitting around now? Three still? Okay. Oh, cool. I want to go down and left. Ow! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Crap. No, that's okay. That's honestly okay. We're not that far back. Oh, I should have gone to the right and saved. But that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Ain't no thing, chicken wing. We all right? Flutter, 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 flutter. That is the most adorable ability I think I've seen aside from the Tanuki statue in uh, Mario Brothers 3. Also adorable. <laughs> Careful, it's a raccoon, dog, fortune-telling thing. Also turns into statues. Oh, okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, was there nothing up here? Look at, like, that looks like a hell of a passageway. Well, I can get up there now is really the important thing. No! I got cock- oh, cocky, and I didn't make it. There we go. Alright. I'll need to remember to go all the way to the right as well. Nice! Bow wow! Okay, that clears that out pretty expertly. Is there anything I needed in the very far left? I don't think so. I think I covered all that. I don't remember now. Well, I'm here. If I die, it'll be a quick, quick pass back, so whatever. Ah, oh, you... Booger slinging jerk face. Man, that makes this whole thing a lot easier. 
This part, not so much. There you are. I knew you were close. Oh my... Gosh, come on. Thank you. Holy buckets. Okay. Glad I checked. Are you a medium boy? What, what are you? You, you a tall lad? Which would we got here? Two points. Awesome. I am down like a clown. Charlie Brown. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Uh. No, it's this one I want. Uh, boop. So now... Dang it. I really honestly thought it was going to be fast enough. One more. Still don't have... Oh! Now I can get to that one platform in the other area with that one other platform thing. Roy? Roy. Okay, that was... Got, I, think, I have a feeling I've got a lot to re-explore. But I want whatever that platform was. I think that's more important to me. That makes all of these little land jerks kind of obsolete enemies, which is nice. Yes! That's what I was hoping for. Some way I could get just a little more hi- Ah ha ha! Okay. You're a platform now. Happy birthday. That wasn't absolutely thoroughly terrifying. Oh, I needed him up here! No! Okay, nice to be back on this side of the world. Now, let's get a couple of things. Now I'm just overusing it like crazy. So that's also a portal, which I'll get to eventually. So now we do this, flutter flutter, flutter flutter. This has to lead to something good, right? Oh, okay. That was just another way to get here, it seems. I'm still curious about something. Come here. That'll do. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, not quite. Rats. Alright, that's fine. We'll give it another try. I feel there's something more up there. That I don't know about. Oh, I could have just warped. That might have been faster. Oh, you're already a platform. Okay, cool. Platform is a service. <laughs> That's a cloud engineer joke right there. Stay tuned, more dumb crap coming your way. Oh, uh, almost. Oh, there is, there is in fact more. Not quite. How would somebody get here normally? Huh. 
Heretic's granddaughter. 60 rever rever reverend re revered. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, my name's John Megacycle. I can teach you to talk just like me. <laughs> 60 revered sages gave their lives. In return, we have 10 weapons of godlike power. The king is pleased in the Udug put to rout, at least for the time being. But it does not feel like victory. Cheshgala was an honorable and proud leader. Gemkala, a respected priestess. Now they are dust, sleeping. Only summoned when needed. Sixty more are going to the chambers tomorrow. It seems everything my grandmother tried to warn us of, for which she was unjustly punished, has come to pass. We survive at the cost of all we had hoped to save. Huh. Wanted you to drop the thing first, but whatever. Okay. Uh, am I satisfied? Hold on. That was weird. That was... That was really weird. I'll have to deal with that some other time, most likely. That was incredibly strange, though. I'll never be able to replicate that again, I promise you. <laughs> that was really damn cool. <laughs> If I could toot my own horn or whatever, that was pretty slick. Pretty slick. Okay. The path I want to go next is all blocked, right? There's like four or five of these unbreakable block things. What is over here? I did not explore. Just a turret. Just a giant turret, sure. A little bit of a Brinstar feel with this. Urum Valley. I want to go back. I want to see what that portal was about. My Lord Melem Anna. The Uda came from beneath the waves of a great flood, their powers allowing them to enter our world through storms of fire that appear in the sky. Until now the Uda have seemed almost casual about the danger these storms pose to us of flesh and blood. They are doorways and nothing more to them. But yesterday a storm erupted with such violence it seemed to wipe out an entire village. I fear we may have been too successful in our deployment of our wielders. Where the Uda once brushed us aside, like flies, they are now hunting us like boar. We must find a way to fight back. Arad Lugal, the second. Another nice little neat health note fragment, I'll take that. That is just super cute. Okay, that kind of feels like everything to me. At least in this bit. Yeah, that up there is what I want to do. So there's our... There's our... Ticket, I hope. Got a real old school feel with this jam. Okay. 
this and then I'll save up for more drone damage wait why does this look familiar because it does because it is. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't go this way. But now we can. I like how everything kind of meshes in together. Like, eventually, you'll unlock all the paths to make traveling not suck. Yeah, now we're back in Brinstar or whatever. Another way. Oh! This will lead me to the weapon. What I think is the weapon. Uh. Yes. The Urusan. A more powerful version of the Mulusan. Oh, sounds heavier too. Huh. Unfortunately, that did not have the result I was hoping for, but that's okay. I mean, I'll take a weapons upgrade any day of the week. You're not going to hear me crying about that. I was just hoping that was going to be the key to breaking up these things. Yeah, I don't have the power or whatever. Of course, that's right there. just hit me. Okay, well, I'm supposed to come back here, I'm sure, and do something, but there's nothing I can really do now. Go back to the lab again. So can I... Okay, that's cool. So what about this? Okay, I have to be... Okay, that makes sense. I have to be in the same plane of existence in order for me to warp to it? Question mark? Because I tried to warp back to the overworld from the breach area and I couldn't. So, alright. Um, Urum Valley, I guess, is our next shot. Or as I've been calling it, Brinstar. Uh, I think down below was just blocked by more rocks. But I wouldn't mind a quick save anyway. Yep, definitely more rocks. There's a lot of backtracking I want to do. Um, I guess I could do it at any time. This is kind of the same feels I had with Axiom Verge 1. I think at like episode like 5 or 6, I was like, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. We got... Like, the high jump, we got a bunch of fun toys, let's backtrack a bit. Um... I'm not in a super rush to backtrack, but we've, we've been getting a lot of neat mobility tools and utility tools and everything.
Thank you. Totally worth it. Additional point, awesome. That's blocked, less awesome. Chase me, bro, chase me! More rocks, damn. Cool. Just artillery cannon things shooting everywhere. All, all manners of which way. Becoming an arm. To my brother Ludari. I've accepted the NC's offer to become an arm. I know you're against this. J trust me, I have no interest in the Udug war myself, but I felt I had no choice. Over the years, it's become clear to me that the supposed celestial hierarchy represented by the Lamasu is a farce. A. Ansur, which it explains as our mother, is a shackle. Or rather, a giant stone that we are shackled to, dragging us into the depths. There is no Irkala. After death, there is nothing. Not even blackness. The arms and the welders, at least, have the potential for eternal life. They say only a storm bomb can fully destroy them. Once the ceremony is complete, I'll be joined with the mage shit jettel. A like-minded scholar from our group. They'll anoint me as Amashalama after the goddess. I wish you would join me. There's no telling what may happen to any of us in this war, and I don't want to lose you. Elotil. Oh. So some of these passages I can sneak through and use. Oh, is this more armor? Allows you to store and use healing energy. Okay, right, another power matrix. I confused it with the honeycomb thing for a second. Okay, so this kind of also acts as, like, the X-ray specs of Super Metroid. I wonder what this is, though. Some ceremonial stone of some sort. Uh, yeah. This is where I want to go. Oh, okay. 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 Still bupkis. Literally a chain, uh, 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 minigun with <laughs> glasses or something. Oh, you remind me of what I met in Eden. And you're a ghost. Okay. That's rude as hell. Oh, is this the other camp? Really looks like it. So much rust, probably from all the rain. Well, this doesn't bode well. Cool. I'm gonna fight Fantoon anytime now. Enough BS, Hammond. Where's my daughter? You've got some nerve using my daughter like this. Needs fix. Someone's really asking for an ass kicking. I don't 
think I want to do that. Uh, I want to explore this area a little more before I commit. Oh, glad I did. Is that a two-pointer? One-pointer. Okay, I'm happy. A point's a point, man. I'm not gonna be all wham about it. Point is a point is a point is a point. This map, this little mini map makes me think there's a lot more up, but I don't think there is. Man, the vocals on this singer. Amazing. Alright, two main options right now. I can either double back, see if I can pick up some more items, or proceed. Uh, it can't get any worse, right? The Emergence. My maps are busted. Just want to test if I can go back. Okay. Sure. Why not? I don't know, like for a game mechanic perspective, I always like to make sure I can go back and forth. But now I kind of feel like I'm not going to be locked out, right? In the overworld... That looks so. These look like really small versions of the eggs now. Like a chalice. Can't do anything about that. This smells like a trap. Uh, yeah. I, I used to just be a normal human. I had an unfortunate encounter with some nanotech. I'm trying to find my way back to Antarctica. Zansaya or Shinova. Adruska. Okay. Starting to see some similarities here. What is this place? But there has to be a way, even if I have to build a whole new portal. Okay, so we were in Kinger. Kinger? Not... Uh... Not Sutra? Oh my gosh, there's so many of these words, it's hard to keep track. This looks very familiar. Uh-huh. Good little find. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just mildly stupefied as to exactly what's going on. Like, 
This might sound really dumb, but I can't wait to beat the game as in read a plot summarization, summarization on what the hell is exactly is going on. Because I thought we were in Sutra. That's easily, that looks breakable to me. What is this now? And I'm probably mixing the name of the people with the name of the area wrong, but hold up on the charger for slingshot when hooked. Release it to launch at your foes. Imdugbur. Okay, that's... Even... Oh! How does... Okay. How does... Oh. Let's see. One more meter yet would do it. So I need how many more? I need three more skill points? Ugh, nuts. Okay, that's fine. Uh, once we get to a save point... Oh, okay. Nice. Once we get to a save point... Okay, so can I... How much can I play with this, though? Uh, it's got a little play. Ooh, excuse me. It's got a little play. Okay, the problem is I can't really use it when I'm falling. Not in any decent manner. <laughs> okay. It's interesting. I'll get. It's interesting. I'll give you that. Um, okay, that opens up a ton of crap now. Please tell me you'll give me three points. Darn it, two. Okay, that's fine. I'm getting a little greedy, I think. Okay, that takes care of that, actually. So... Like, now what? Do I talk to them again? Now we know where all the people migrated from. Okay, so why are you behind that barrier? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that was Amashil... Lama. She's the one who did this to me. This may be hard to believe, but she took my original body, though I do intend to get it back. Why are you out here? Is this your chamber? Not with your people. Oh, in this chamber, not with your people. Of humanity, like human humans. Interesting. Do you know anything else that can help me? Oh, I already picked that up, all right. That is very useful, thank you. Okay, so... This is going to be the first time that we've heard humanity legitimately being referenced. Which is interesting, because... From what it seemed like so far, up until now, we've been dealing with... Other races? Other... 
similar humanoids, but not really human specifically, but now is stirring or er, steering humanity in the right direction or whatever post evolution. That you know, it's an interesting thing to have humanity legitimately called out. Maybe I haven't been paying attention and I just woke up, but. <laughs> I don't think anywhere in Axiom Verge, like the first one, it was like, this is a fight for all of humanity, or something something humanity. It's all been about the Sudra. And, well, the Rasulki and, and everything going on there. So this is an interesting take for sure. Yes, I will say. Let's go ahead and pause here, like I said. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of feel the story's about to get absolutely blown open. So thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of Axiom Verge 2 is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.